The simple answer is you shouldn't put Q-tips into your ears. I believe there's a warning on the box that says do not insert into your ears. There are people that are using Q-tips either on their children or to themselves where they're pushing the wax in and the ear canal, which is about an inch long, keeps producing wax. The normal flow of the wax, which is supposed to be from inside out and it's supposed to flow out by itself, actually it can't flow out anymore. So it starts building up on itself and rolling on itself and it becomes denser and denser and denser. And it actually, I don't even think has a shutoff valve because the wax can be like a rock at times. There are occasions where I will in fact have to remove this small brown crayon amount of wax out of someone's ear because it's built up so much. I have seen situations where people have perforated their own eardrums by putting Q-tips in. The best way that I recommend for people is when you're washing your hair and, and, and showering is to wash your ears with soap and water and then use your towel on your finger to sort of mop out the water and any wax that might be on the outside and don't put anything on the inside. If your ear is clogged, if there's wax stuck inside, you really need a medical professional to, to get it out for you.